Shea, another point on the board, eight games unbeaten now, we're happy with that. Yeah, delighted, um, you know, to come here at the top of the league against a good football inside. Um, you know, a draw is a great result and the man of the draw, you know, shows the character in the squad. We, um, we hung in there and we kept fighting and we got our rewards. Good performance as well, overall, do we think we were sort of unlucky maybe not to get a victory, certainly, you know, deserving of the point in the end. 100%, you know, first half, we had the post, tails had a chance. Um, and even at that, we weren't playing our best. Um, second half, we were a lot brighter. We created a lot more, and apart from their penalty, you can't remember them having you know many chances in goal. And that's against top of the league. So um, yeah, as you said, we got the draw. Um, probably could have nicked it in the end, but um, you know a draw is a good result. Obviously, scoring the equaliser late on a free kick, you looked like you enjoyed it. It wasn't a bad one, was it? No, yeah, it was a decent free kick. Um, you know, late goals are always nice especially against the top of the league and away from home, as I said before, it shows the character in the squad and, you know, the strength and depth, you know, um, Remy came on last week and scored, I came on today and scored, so it shows we're all in together and um, we're willing to give 100%. Yeah, you spoke about that character, how important was that today and how important has it been, certainly this season as well, over the, the past sort of few months, we've, we've really battled back from sort of losing positions and sort of positions where it's not been going our way and you've seen that again today, haven't you? 100%, it's not a coincidence, it's something the gaffer has instilled in us from day one really. Um, that's what pre-season was about, was being a squad, being together. Um, you know, doing running in pre-season, it was always stick together, keep going till the end. And um, results have shown that, we hang in there and we keep going and um, as I say, we got our just rewards today. And a good point against the good side as well, top of the league, a lot's been made maybe of the away form over the past few weeks, been more, wanting to maybe improve upon that. Have we answered a few critics today, do you think? 100%. Um, you're coming away to swim in a difficult place. You know, the crowd had a big influence today. Um, you know, um, so yeah, we'll, we'll take, the, take the point and uh, it almost feels like a win with the last minute. Um, so we hope to continue this unbeaten run and um, we go again, go again next week now. And for you personally as well, you've had a bit of a run back in the side, started the last few and then coming off the bench obviously today since you've uh, come back from your injury. Are you happy with the sort of how you've progressed since you've come back from your injury and how you sort of having your involvement in the side? Yeah, the past probably two the two games start were probably difficult in the manner of, you know, the way other teams set up and um, the way the game panned out. Um, you know, it, it was more of a battle and, um, you know, I enjoy, everyone, well, most players enjoy that. Um, it was just sort of different. It's um, Here was, you know, nice pitch and stuff, but we don't have that at home. So we have to, you know, play to our strengths and, um, you know, the past two games probably weren't pretty, but they were, you know, efficient and we got through, we got six points from the past two games. So, and we came here under a good pitch and second half we played great football and it shows we can mix things up, we can play the ugly side and we can play the football inside. Yeah, eight unbeaten now, like we say, a lot of points picked up recently over the, the past sort of few games and stuff over this aggressive period, stayed unbeaten. Um, sort of how's the, the confidence, you know, on the back of that? I'm guessing we're going into every game with the, the unbeaten run that we're on with, you know, confidence high in the camp and spirits high, things like that. Yeah, exactly. You've just got to keep that going as long as you can. Um, you know, we didn't win today, but as I said before, it almost feels like a victory with the last minute goal. Um, we want to continue this on now. Um, as I said, the first half of the season, um, it's great being up there, but the second half of the season is when it counts. Um, especially in round here, I think it shows in round this time of year, it shows the, the, the character of the squad, difficult pitches, difficult conditions, and uh, you know, we sort of picked up, picked up a run now, and we hope to continue that. Yeah, and just like that, I suppose the Christmas period, the festive period, is, is pretty much come to its end. You think, looking back on it, we can look back and, and be proud of sort of how we've done over the festive period. Like we say, we remain unbeaten and got a few wins as well. Hundred percent. I think it shows the strength, as I said before, in the squad. And um, we've you know we've mixed and matched with um, players in and out and stuff like that. There, and it shows everyone's willing, willing to you know you know we're all working towards the same goal. We want to get promotion. and We want to move our way up the table. Um, yeah, so you know, Christmas is an important time. Important time, and I think it shows if you get a good one on Christmas. I think that that, that shows the strength in the squad, and um, because there's a lot of tired legs out there, and if you're able to, you know, take someone in and put someone in and take someone out who you know can do the exact same job, then um, you know that's that's a, a brilliant addition. And a bit of a rest now, finally, before Crawley next Saturday. How good is it now, and how much are you looking forward to, to sort of giving, gathering a bit of rhythm again after this Christmas period, having a bit of rest and sort of getting that sort of rhythm back again? Yeah, it gets you back out on the training pitch. You know, probably the past 10 days, two weeks, it's sort of been the training sessions have all been recovery sessions and trying to recover as best as we can. Um, there's no, not, not much point going out into the pitches and, you know, doing a, doing a slogging session. You have to, you know, recover well and... Um, I think the you know the backroom staff and the manager have um, done that brilliantly, and I think it reflects on the results.